Oh, it's now it's damaged the lowest enemy by two. Womp! It's worse. Oh, it's a banner. Repeat until charges are depleted. That's a great card. I feel so satisfied that it's done. I'm sorry I scared the crap out of Dash. He's like, why did you just do that? I'm sorry, Dash. No, oh, I think that's a great card. I know, it's weak as in to change the card for two, right? It did, it, maybe, maybe you could upgrade it. Damage the lowest enemy by three is what it was. Repeat until all charges are depleted. Yeah, you know what? It's because the she troll knew how to activate it better than I ever would. Um, that's actually would be a good card for us though. Like, I might end. Oh, I can't put. Actually, I like our trophy now. As long as we have Ike, I want our trophy in. Oh, God, this game. This no good. Hold in Bridgie now. When Bridgie bad, Uman's no good. No go on Bridgie, no pay shrine. Chinese. No pay Chinese. Humans only good for soupy soup. Splash, splashy. I wonder, can I like save this? I wish I could save this as like a separate thing. I want to like go back to this. Definitely want to make a video on how to beat this. Or something. Because this... Well, I guess I could just go back into our... <laughs> I could just use our footage and redo that. That's impossible. That's not impossible, we just did it. So... When we played... We played the... I'm trying to remember this. So we played the... Wagenberg on the bottom, then we played our two riders. And then we played our the units on the top. I'm like using my mouse. We played the the field support on the top. To summon two infantrymen. On that turn, we then played another one on the bottom. Then we move one up. I, ca I can't even, I'm trying to visualize how that even happened. Again. I want to like do it again so I can play it and see how that winning maneuver happened. I should have just restarted it. As soon as we realized we had the win, I should have just restarted it. Unless we just resume, I, I, I really want to do I want to play it again. I know it sounds crazy. Oh, damn it. I can't play it again. It's like, I, I want to play it again just so I can beat it again. I wonder if there's a way to play the puzzles. Maybe after you beat the game, you can go back and play the puzzles individually. That would be cool. Puzzles are, they're, they're so good. They're so mind rattling. All right, so now we got everything we need to continue the story forward. Let's get to this new zone. We've done everything this map has to offer. The Lyrians stood within five miles of Aldersburg when the road, which until now they had traveled alone, suddenly filled with all manner of folk. Peasants, merchants, and wounded fighters in tattered uniforms. They trod solemnly in the opposite direction, their worldly possessions on their backs. Oldersburg's fallen, my lady. Sighed one of the refugees with a forlorn shrug. Outer walls breached. 
king still defends the old town, but black-clad goats are winning. You'd best turn back before it's too late. We've nowhere to turn to, good man, the queen said. Then spurred on her horse. Follow me! I don't mind listening to this again the because it's cool. The queen galloped so fast the wind squeezed tears from her eyes. The Lyrian cavalry close at her heels. Hoofbeats thundered down the high road, and the crowd of refugees parted, making a path for the charging riders. Faster! Faster! Soon they set eye on Aldersburg. A red glow filled the horizon. The wind carried screams and the clanking of steel. The once proud city was quickly turning to dust in the Nilfgaardian sun. The Nilfgaardian force moved to block the Lyrian's way. Without slowing, Meave cut down the infantryman who tried to drag her from her saddle with a hook. Her head in a winged helmet fell to the ground, leaving a bloody track. Lyrians, attack! I love her. Take no prisoners! So this is good because now we have the we have the additional morale. <clears throat> the invading forces ignored the Lyrians at first. After all, the Nilfgaardians were better equipped, better trained, and most importantly held a considerable numerical advantage. However, the supremacy quickly began to vanish. Blackhead soldiers fell one after the other to the blows of Meave's infantry. The Nilfgaardian commander, watching in disbelief, trumpeted for reinforcements. Okay, and that's where the fight comes in. Is it a regular? Is it a regular fight? Um, well, the stuff that we really don't. I mean, we have her. We have him. I mean, as long as we have her, we have the first. We have the first hand. We'll get rid of this. I guess we'll get rid of that. Get rid of her. When we have these three, we have our two traps. All we really want is to pull another one of the bombers out. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's a regular fight. Stop me. Not now. I don't want to pull everything out of the deck right away. Every turn on start, boost adjacent units by one if this unit has armor. Deploy a copy of this unit. And then discard all copies of the unit. Oh, yeah. Oh, Death Wish. Discard all copies of this unit from hand and deck. Oh, well, then let's just do that right away. Wait, what do these do? Uh, damage a random unit by two. So we're just, we're going to kill everything right now. Boom. Everything's gonna be dead. Oh, why did the loyalty ability not go off twice? Well then. Now everything's dead. Eat that. <laughs> it's like, how far should we take this first turn? Maybe I'll save, maybe I'll save our chick for the following. So after one turn on start, summon a copy of this unit from your deck. I mean, I can let it plunge into us with all of this stuff. Can I kill it this fast? I don't think so. Can deal. Can no, there's no reason to move it. So I'm just gonna put another trap down. So I know I have more traps in the deck, so I can use the, I can summon the traps and stuff with my last. Is that all this thing has? Might want to. I might want to bomb them after I win the first turn. They have three units out. 
We'll just... We'll just... Eat away at him this way? Exchange units by one. So this is really where our enemy is. So we can move this, this, and this. Start bombing them away. Give it no adjacent units. This is really powerful. But at the same time, I don't think it'll be able to catch up. Especially if we light it up. So we're gonna light up the front row here. I smell a leak. Chances are it'll... If, if this is boosting it by one and I'm damaging it... I think, I think by two? Yeah, by two. Chances are I'll probably kill it anything faster than it can boost. Because it's only adjacent units. Oh boy, now it's got two of these things. So I can move... I move these two forward. They'll take the two damage from the trap. And then some. I move this back, it'll take the two damage and two damage. These two I can kill. But I want to keep as many people in the trap as possible. So we're gonna move these two forward and one back to kill it. Um, move this unit to your deck and summon a random unit from your deck to allied row. I don't really need to do that. Oh, it passed. Nice. Alright, so we win then. He's passing on us because he doesn't want to waste all of his cards. I'm going to pass too. I'm not going to play anymore. Nice. So now we're going to dig for a bomber. We need to dig for a bomber and traps, really. <laughs> we didn't get any... On our draw, we didn't get any of the cards that we wanted. Um, get rid of this. Get rid of that again. Oh, there's a one trap. And boost allies at random by the total damage taken this turn. Sorry, girl, but I'm really looking for a trap here. Oh, I go first? Shwee, swag. So I'm gonna play Black Rayla now. And get her her whole jam going. I doubt it'll be able to kill Black Rayla this turn. It's only got six cards in deck. Life is mine now. I don't like that it has order abilities on this. We're gonna throw a trap. I guess we'll go bomber. Although we could put a second trap out. Yeah, then no, let's we'll, we'll throw bomber down. Doesn't matter which you mad? which Don't area we put that. it on. We're gonna save our attack from the broadsword until they cast more units. The next thing we're gonna do is <clears throat> we're gonna play Xavier and then boost nice her choice. by two. He's going after the bomber, huh? I'm surprised. Nice. Fire worked. 
We're gonna play her. Him. We're gonna we're gonna boost her twice. Then she is going to play Trap. Back row. And then Damage a unit by 10 and units adjacent to it by 5. We don't need to play that yet. We can transform an enemy to a Jade. This is an order ability, so I can technically, I can play her. And not use this ability yet? Oh, you were playing Rim Job this whole time, Squirrel? It does look like a good game. Whatever, I'm just gonna put her out. I don't have to use her order ability yet. I hoped we could solve this some other way. <laughs> so it it's I was looking into the game a bit. Um I mean it looks pretty cool. Still hold on to her ability. I mean, at least what we'll do with her ability is we'll play it before we use um, Isabel. So the more damage that we have in on them, the better. Ooh, they're going after her. Oh, they went after her. Why did they get three charges? I guess I should have used Isabel. I don't blame them for making her a target. Um, I guess we're bringing Xavier back. I've never played Prison Architect either. Played um till last night. I can't remember the last time I played. What happened? Um, are you talking about RimWorld or Prison Art uh, Architect? What is RimWorld like? It's, it seems like a pretty unique deck. On range row. Whenever an enemy unit appears on the range row. So I don't want to put any units on the range row anymore. That's for sure. But that's no problem. I want to kill this thing. I guess I could start moving these things around. But the fire is going to kill this anyway. The only things I can bring out are these three things. Get it to work. I'll boost her two more times. We use her to play. This. <laughs> nice, so I take its biggest unit. If this unit takes damage, destroy it. Nice. So I just stole its big unit. <laughs> oh, this deck is so much... It's just... Murderous. I, don't, I almost don't even feel good playing it, because I just destroy everything. Game plays like Prison Architect. So, but... Yeah, I haven't played- I haven't played that game either. Oh, another one of those things? It's got two of them? I'm surprised it's even keeping up. But I don't have- I don't have Ike out yet, so... Move these around. What can I play? I guess we'll just play that card. It's not going to summon anything on the front row. <clears throat> or I can hit, I can hit stuff. I 
can wait and play this too. And just go in on it at the end. Get out of the back row. Oh, order ability boosts it. Dang it. I'm not gonna play anything yet. So it's a college management game. Does it, does it play like a board game? Oh, is it like, um, is it like, uh, the Fallout game that came out? Um, oh, I don't remember the name of it. Move them forward. Remember, enemy appears on the range row. Well, I'll move her forward. I'll damage her by two, but I'll get all these guys on that row. Maybe I'll get lucky. Actually, you know what? Let's do this first. We'll attack them both for seven. Well, for four. Oh, that didn't work best. This is damaging by two. So we'll move these two forward and we'll move her up. Or we can move our trap. We'll move these three forward, actually. Although it'll start casting stuff on the back row. <laughs> but... Unless we move our trap backwards. We're moving this forward, we're moving this forward. I don't want to make this appear in the range row. I should have not moved this. I should have planned this ahead. Because this is going to boost them. Well, this is probably going to die anyway. Oh, you know what? Let, yeah, let's move this because this is going to move back. It's going to take two damage and then it's going to die from the trap. Yeah, yeah. I forgot the trap is going to kill it. Nice. And now... I could cast this other thing. But I guess we'll just... We'll cast Gascon, maybe? Oh, I have another one of those? Interesting. I forgot I had another one of those. So, we'll just cast Gascon to ensure our victory. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. No way this is gonna come. Fallout? The Fallout Colony management game was turn-based? I don't- I- I didn't play it. I know it was on the phone. That I'm sort of familiar with. Do-do-do-do. Mm. Alright, so I can cast two more cards after I play this. Her Majesty is exceptional. I'm gonna boost this here. I'm gonna use I'm gonna put this out. We're gonna move them. I almost wanna move them all to the same row. I move these back, I'll move this forward. To move these my own units backwards now. Because if I move this forward, maybe they'll be in the same row and I can deal that 10 damage to and 5 to adjacent units, which should be good. Definitely want to move this one forward, but do I want to move them back and get them out of the fire? I don't think so. I'd rather just move this forward. I'll move that forward and I'll move that back. Now everything's in the fire. And then, I'll use this card and attack this thing. I deal 10 damage and then 5 to the adjacents. I mean, it's got no chance here. Another one of these things on the back row cards. So the unworthy shall be punished. I could just keep playing until <clears throat> This is the weird part about the game. It's like I could just literally just keep playing until I'm out of cards. And now I could pass because I don't have anything else to play. 132 to 24. Good grace. That, all that was but their rear guard. 
We destroyed them. The Lyrians managed to scatter the Nilfgaardian battalion, one of many besieging Aldersburg. Their scouts brought before the Queen a prisoner freed from the invaders. Neve inquired about the situation in the city. Turn the right slaughterhouse in us. The Imperials, they... King at the city cleared my lady, but didn't put himself. Holding out with his guard in old town, walls still standing there. Said he'd fight to the end. Come with me. Wow. So... Neve weighed her options. The situation looked dire. Demavend, to whom she had come for help, needed help himself. Nilfgaard enjoyed an overwhelming advantage. The small Lyrian detachment stood no chance of breaking the siege. But to retreat, surrender, that was not something Neve did. The Nilfgaardians do Good not for expect her. a relief force. Hmm. Rayla, you know Aldersburg. Can you lead us by side streets to the Old Town? That we may avoid the largest part of the North Guardian army. Oh crap. The warrior not at least I didn't lose her. without waiting for any further orders, strode out in front of the party. Reynard followed her with his gaze, clearly troubled. And and what then, your majesty? We burst into the lion's den and And we pray the lion chokes. Follow me. Sick. Oh, I get to collect stuff? I thought that was it. Thousands wounded. Thousands more fled. Oh wow, there's more? I thought this was going to be the one that like, pushed us over the edge here. Wow. King Demavend will fight to the end. He'll save the city or die with it. Turn awesome. Back. Turn back while you've the strength to run. While you have your life. Aldersburg falls. Aldersburg is lost. Turn back. Never. Do I have any more loot around? Oh, this is good. So this is definitely the end here. <laughs> oh, I love that they did that. <laughs> oh, it makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I love this game. They have so many little Easter eggs in it. I love them. All right, what can we um do we want to build anything before we go in there? Training ground, we can get <clears throat> We can get the Rivian sappers if we wanted to. These we don't want to build. Command tent, there's nothing there. I guess we'll just hold out for the next... Oh, this one. We can build these. No, we don't have enough for this. This is the only one we could build if we really wanted to, but... I guess we'll hold on and see what happens. Unless we built units, specifically. You're approaching a po important moment in your journey. If you choose to continue, you will not be able to resume any unfinished activity in this area. Golden chests. Eight out of nine golden chests. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. What do you mean there's a golden chest we haven't found? Is there another? Hold on. Check our map here. Consult the Book of Armaments. We got all these golden chests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where would there be another golden chest? I mean, my guess might be. Best guess would be either in this area or up in this area. 
But it's interesting because there is we don't have any more maps. Where the heck are we going to find it? Unless there's... No, there's not going to be one further on. Man, are we really going to run around and try to find this golden chest? How would I not? Unless it was like right here. We didn't look around in this area. Because we didn't check this. At all. So we have to look for golden chests. We need that wood. The wood's like really important for us because we're running out. So all the resources we could find, the better. Is it worth it though? So maybe we'll check those two locations that we think it possibly could be in first. Oh, we also... There was like nothing down here, remember? There was like no way in there. We didn't really know what that was. I guess we'll check that too. I'm like looking desperately. <laughs> I'm not even looking at where I'm running. I'm just looking at everything and, and my character's peripherals. Like, oh, is there a golden chest anywhere to be found? Look for weird paths, pathways to somewhere. Cause that's what this game does. It's just like random little areas that you can run down. No way this way. I thought for sure maybe it'd be over here. Cause this, this was nothing. Oh look, the CD Project Red bird is on top of the roof. You would think that this is where it would be, being that this this town did nothing for us. But alas, it is not. I don't see at least I don't see anything over here. So how was your trip to Florida, squirrel? You're home, I guess, now, right? Have you been playing the game like this? Alright, so we're gonna check up here first. Which is my... It's gonna be in here. We'll check here first. Golden chess, where are you? You would think it would show up though, right? Like with my scouts? Isn't that like the point of them? I don't see anything in here. I wish I didn't have a, a glare on my screen. That also doesn't help the situation. But the golden chest should definitely be showing up. On screen. Okay, so I don't see anything over here. I'm gonna check. I guess I'll just run up that way. You know, maybe, maybe after we completed that road. You know, we, we went down there and we built that bridge. Maybe it was like upwards around where that bridge was. Maybe that was like the perk of making that bridge complete. Which I didn't even think about that. Oh. Well, that was... That was a tease. What did it let us run in here for? Unless, you know what I'm thinking too? It could be that we can't find it, and maybe like it was a quest reward? A quest. 
Maybe the only way you're able to find the chest is like by making a specific decision in a quest. And like we didn't make that decision, so it's not available to us. That could also be a possibility. There's nothing down here. I don't see anything. There's nothing by the shoreline. Chest, chest, chest. Oh, I was just asking about Florida. It's fine. You're not missing anything now. We're we're just skimming the area to see if we could find the missing golden chest. Because apparently we missed one golden chest. And Lord knows I won't be able to sleep at night unless I find it. Because I must 100%. Doesn't look like I can go this way. So we're really we're we're just scrubbing at this point. So we'll look around this area now. So scrub the landmass, find the chest. No chests here. No availability for one. Can't run this way. I can't get into these doors. Man, I destroyed stuff. Scrub it. Alright, so we don't think it's there. Check this area now. Oh yeah, and then we want to check wherever that- where do we place that bridge? Oh no, we just- we went over that bridge. I think that's where we pushed- put the bridge up. Could definitely be in here. It could be anywhere! Well, welcome home. I mean, fine is not bad. I was hoping you had a great time. <laughs> Maybe there's treasure under the, the, the bridge. No. When did you get home? From El Florida. <laughs> not your best trip, but it was a trip. <laughs> Imagine it was by this troll. The one who caused us so much pain and agony. I still can't even believe that we won. But I can believe because we tried it 17,000 freaking times. Maybe it's over there. Come on, chest. Up here! I don't see anything. Sometimes you just see it in the distance and I don't see anything. We did a good job, like, research- or, like, exploring. You know, I don't- I can't imagine us missing it just running past it. I feel like it's probably a quest reward. It's my best guess. How the heck do I get over there? Damn, it probably is over in that area. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're scrubbing. Okay, where oh where? Will a little map be? Where or where will it be? Yeah, I agree with you, Squirrel. An end of stream graphic would be pretty cool. I mean, even if it was just like words that overlay, you know, for a time being. What's up, Deadly Dragon? What's going on? Oh, I like that. Those are those are emotes. Those are cool. Those are cool emotes. We're, we're scrubbing for the last map. 
because we want to know, or at least the last, the last treasure. Because we don't need, we don't really know where it is. But there's, there's another treasure. But I have, I have a suspicion. That I don't know for sure. Oh, see, that's something that we never. That's something that we never explored. I forgot about that. That was a thing. Because there's just some one whispering in the woods to us, and we have no way to interact with it. I bet you this is what it is. We just I can't figure out how to interact with whatever this is. Interesting. There's got to be a way to interact with whatever that is in the woods, and I bet you that has something to do with the treasure. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happens. You just stare at my face while I say goodbye. I had one on the Kinder Co-op, but I should make one for this, this channel. Because it does make, make a lot of sense. Yeah, and like, what I can, what, not only can I close and take my face off the camera, but I can also then at that point, I can look into um, <clears throat> rating or hosting or whatever. That's gotta be it. There's like no, there's, there's like no way that you can convince me otherwise that that, whatever that is, that, that's not it. Is there anything over here that we can get? No, I don't know. I, I can't find it. It's not the worst thing, but I figured I'd at least give it a shot. I don't know, can you- you can't like link on Twitch like that though. I don't think that that's something that you- I can't put clickable links on- on stream. I'm gonna go in there, maybe they know something. Did I talk to everybody down here? There's nothing else for me to interact with over here. I could I could run my scouts again, but I just don't want to waste the but I guess it's just 50 gold. Yeah, they don't know anything. There's nothing up here either. Like I thought maybe like up here would be something, but I remember running up here and not finding anything. Alright, I'm gonna go back over there and I'm gonna scout up. If my scouts don't find anything, then I'm gonna move on. And... <clears throat> we're gonna continue without the quest, without the chest. But at least I got all the puzzles done. And I got pretty much everything done that I needed to get done. <clears throat> all interactable objects and stuff. Well, actually I probably just could've done this. All right, we're gonna scout. Nope. There's nothing. So be it. <clears throat> we move on. Well, thanks for doing, joining us. Deadly dragon. <clears throat> Appreciate you coming to hang out in the stream. Gods have mercy. And demons take it all. Oh, this is cool. Taking advantage of the confusion, Meave maneuvered her troops to the very walls of the old town. All right. Spying Lillian <clears throat> banners, the defenders suspected a trap. But when they noticed Black Railer among them, 
they immediately lowered the drawbridge. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty quiet right now. I feel like it definitely has something to do with this game. Are you familiar with this game by any chance? The old town was a maze of brothels and shady taverns. In normal times, students and other pleasure seekers prowled its dark alleys. Now, tired soldiers slumped in every corner, though the Lyrian's arrival clearly buoyed their spirits. Cool. The fraternal realm's warriors clasped each other's hands and swapped tales. Even Eden's king, Demovent, made no secret of his pleasure at seeing these unexpected arrivals. Oh, this is so cool. <clears throat> Me. Are you a Witcher fan? Of all the besieged cities in all the world, you walk into mine. Come to the rescue, have you? That's what we're here for. This uh, so far, I've been loving this game. Um, it it plays it combat and stuff and interact interactions to progress the story are all based in Gwent. However, um. The st like this st actually has cutscenes like this to like just do this in, in like actual stories. To be quite frank, well, I appreciate you coming to hang out. I've come to be rescued. Oh yes, I've heard much of the events in Lyria. Disgraceful, such betrayal. However, as you might have noticed, things are none too rosy here either. Uh oh. Yes, that is hard to miss. Humans in this world suck. I thought we'd trade blows with the Blackclads. That it would be an even match. Two weeks. That sufficed to annihilate the army I'd spent my whole lifetime building. Wow, in two weeks he lost everything. You <laughs> mostly for Chris's schedule? Awesome. How, uh, did you what like brought you in to shake the box? Like what games did you find Chris on? Oh, dude, I want to watch Castlevania so bad. I cannot say what fate will bring if we shall reach this war's end alive, but I wish to say now that I admire you. Oh, you evacuated the city, yet refuse to evacuate yourself. You fight to the bitter end, like a hero. But of course, a king must lead by example after all, especially in war. Reynard, that rumbling, you hear it? Studied boots on cobblestones. The Nilfgaardians, uh -oh. prepare the men for battle. Yes, your grace. So, oh crap, boss now that we're alone, what's really going on? Oh, she shoot him away. She wanted to have a real deal conversation. Um, what, what, so they, they got, I mean, no, I guess spoilers, there's not that many people hanging out right now, but they, in the end of season two, they pretty much got rid of the biggest threat in the show. And I'm curious of like what the threat of season three is going to be. Um, you know, we already know that I love the characters in Castlevania. I, I like the way that the dynamics are between the characters and how they build on them. Um, the voice acting obviously is definitely a plus for the to show. Um, the music is is pays homage to Castlevania in such beautiful ways. Um, so they did a good job with that. It's very nostalgic in that way. Um, and then I also really like the art. Obviously, I think it's really cool. But I was curious, like, with the story, like, where they're actually going to go with it to keep you tied in and how they will progress that. I thought maybe they'd do more with the generals, like Hector and Isaac and stuff, but I, I don't really know where they're bringing it. What? Did you not hear? I'm defending my capital, like a hero. Uh-oh. Hey, thanks for the cheers! <laughs> 301, well done. Was that so you could take leaderboards? That is exactly, exactly 301. I love it. <laughs> Thank, 
<laughs> Thank you, squirrel. <laughs> They're already setting the bad guys in motion. Hector and Isaac definitely have a role play in the season as well. Oh, sick. Is there going to be one more season or they're going to... We don't know. Does it feel like it's just... A, does this season feel like it's just a setup for next season? Or is it going to be independent on its own? So don't feed me that rubbish or like someone on a death wish you mean. <laughs> you guys. The war has begun. <laughs> Um, don't feed me that rubbish. Demavent, please don't feed me that dribble. We've known each other. Appreciate that, Varanon. Why did you stay? Ah, me. As meddling as you are, beautiful. Yeah, she's intelligent, man. She's that she's one? a that one thanks to queen. The brothel, the crimson bodice. What? Precisely. So, promise not to laugh. I'm a patron. A loyal one, in fact. One of the girls there, Demaretta. Uh, uh, she's marvelous. Makes me feel young again. Don't tell me this is why. A young fool, you mean. Demaven, there's a war on, and... Really? Allow me to finish. Demaretta became, well, with child. Oh. Exactly nine months ago. Understand now? She's entered confinement, having contractions. Oh my god. Oh, you're only on the second episode. <clears throat> Alright, well, I have to catch up. I, I have to watch the show as soon as possible. See, I cannot leave her like this. Can't have her moved. I must stay put until she gives birth. And then what? Pray tell. Invite all of Nilfgaard to the christening? <laughs> She's amazing. No, my there is a hidden tunnel deep beneath the city, Pick his leading nose. far beyond its walls. Once the midwives cut the cord, we flee. Oh crap. For bastard, <laughs> you risk an entire army. This is folly indeed. I understand, children are life's greatest treasure. What shall we choose, chat? What would Meave choose? I feel like I've been making her a hard bitch this entire time I've been playing this game. <laughs> So part of me wants to say <laughs> he's a bastard for risking the entire army for the baby. Or he's a bastard and he's risking the entire army for the bastard. <laughs> but she could say this. I understand children are life's greatest treasure. However, her own child, her own son did backstab her. That's how this whole story kind of kicked off. Um, after chapter one, we found out that her son sided with the Nilfgaardian Empire and basically banished her and sentenced her to death, pretty much. Um, well, not he didn't sentence her to death, but his right hand man did, and he wasn't doing anything to stop it because he's a sissy. So m it makes me feel like she probably wouldn't wouldn't say children are life's greatest treasure. I feel like that's probably not how she feels right now. Because she's very mad at her own son, and she just wants to take her throne back. And bring Lyria back to its status. I'm kind of talking myself into this. For a bastard to risk the entire army. I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. I like your... <laughs> I like your emotes. <laughs> Squirrel. All right, we're doing it. Demovend, you risked the lives of thousands of men for a single child. For a bastard to boot. Meave, I would kill thousands of men for my child. Born in wedlock or out, it changes nothing. Damn. It changes everything. One way the babe inherits the throne, the other... Ah, oh, you argue succession while I speak of a father's love. But I shouldn't expect you to understand. Your heart, ice through and through, always has been. Yeah. No wonder, villain. Oh! Your Majesties, the Nilf Guardians are attacking. Meave, we must hold out. A few hours, that's all. I'll do what I can. 
Wow, he burned her. He he brought up his he brought up her son. Midwives advise that women in the thro uh, throes of childbirth be surrounded with a sense of calm and security. Demoretto was afforded no such luxury. As she opened her eyes between contractions, she witnessed flaming missiles of Nilfgaardian war machines shriek across the sky and lifeless soldiers slide from the fort's walls. Faster, she whispered to her forthcoming infant son. Faster, my angel. Oh, now I feel kind of guilty. I feel guilty. <laughs> Meave said what she was going to say. Just play in Meave. It's not me. Uh, normal battle, I assume? Definitely don't need the pup. I mean, I, I sort of like this hand. Except I would really love to have two of the burns of the tortures. <clears throat> Alright, we're getting most of the things that we want here. Can we win on this one? Oh, I don't want another trap. The king. We must stop them. Oh, we're on the bottom. Wait, what? What is going on here? So, mobile and permanent. After four turns on start, destroy a castle gate. Uh, every turn on turn N, move one row towards the opposite. <clears throat> Dual random unit on its current side. And damage an enemy unit by two. And if it was destroyed, spawn fire on its row. Do I want to just wipe these guys out? I can throw up my trap in the back end and move them backwards. Well, we're going to throw our trap up in the beginning. What does this guy do? I, I forgot I have her ability. I could just wipe those guys out right now. So, counter in 15, resilience. Reduce the counter by one for each Nazgukia brigade destroyed. I guess these that's what these. Where's the brigade? Oh, okay, okay. When the counter reaches zero, Meave wins the battle. Oh, so I just gotta keep killing these things? Oh, we could do that. So I just gotta wipe them out, huh? No problem. Let's just start it off. Kill off two. Thirteen. So I guess it's gonna keep summoning him in the back? Let's see where he summons them. Boost an allied machine by four and give it resilience. Look at that. It's just gonna keep putting them in the back. If it's going to duel, every turn on turn N, move to one row towards the opposite <clears throat> and duel random unit on its current side. So, is it going to... I guess we'll find out? Like, part of me wants to just put the other trap down right there, but... I guess it can't hurt. Just throw the trap here and let everything just run into it. Let's see how this works. Yeah, because he's going to keep summoning these things. On turn ends, it's going to move forward and just kill itself. Um, yeah, I'm going to save the burn mechanics for the following rows. Can I move this forward? We'll just kill this thing. Um, order damage the enemy unit by two. If it was destroyed, spawn fire on this row. I guess I sort of want to kill this. This has just got to deploy, so that's really not 
not worrisome to us. So I can't move this. Oh, I should have already looked into it. It's mobile. Just me being an idiot. Uh oh. Neve, what? They're getting close. Devils take all. Help me. Oh, now it's game on. As soon as this... I can win the battle. As soon as this counts us down to 15. Um... Just move these things around? I don't want to waste too much time. Bigger they are, easier they are to time. What's up, Pandora? What's going on? Wouldn't have done what, personally? Play the specific card? Put the traps on the same rows? Try to move the non- <laughs> the immobile guy? Well, they're going after the king here. I mean, we're just- we, we just keep annihilating these things. We must hold on a bit longer! We only have one more round before we activate her abilities. I'm just gonna keep casting these things. <laughs> How's it going today, dude? Thanks for coming in. I know. Every decision I make feels like a wrong one. Uh, we'll kill both of these, or I can cast another thing. Guess we'll just go into this. Maybe I'll kill both of these. Now I won't be able to pass. So I have to play a unit. So I guess what I'll do... is move these two and that. And my turn. I'm just gonna pass here. We won the round. So now let's see what happens. So I have to kill five more of those units. Probably just could have kept holding on. So maybe now you can say that. Alright, so let's get... Let's get her out. Let's just start this going. We don't want to waste any time. We gotta get two more traps out. We're gonna use her. We're gonna play one trap. Okay, and then we're gonna cast Xavier. And we'll use him to put two more order abilities on her. We'll get another trap out and kill both of these things. So now we have a line of defense here. And, uh... Kinda wanna... At this point, I guess I'll just cast a bomber. And then the following turn, I'll throw another bomber out. A bomber! It doesn't matter what row this goes on, so I'll throw it on the back row. No, feel, feel free to troll, though. <laughs> it's been a quiet day today. So I'm happy you're coming in to say what's up. But I'm really happy I got the audio working again, because yesterday, the problem that we had yesterday was driving me nuts. So I just feel like I'm thankful to be able to play any game and enjoy streaming, because yesterday was such a nightmare. <laughs> There's no way this guy's coming out of this. This is 
as soon as these move forward, they're dead. Well, we're dead. We won. No! We needed to, we needed to buy ourselves enough time. We it killed all of them. Now retreat to the tunnel. I was using subtitles a bit. What's up, idols? What's going on? Welcome back. I was using subtitles, but the game is not the same without them. Without the, the well, it's also you're going off of audio cues to know when an, when monsters combined, roar. Hold on, I'm gonna get the story. To hold the old town long enough for Demoretta to bear the king's offspring, a healthy, hardy boy. When the midwife slapped the infant, his scream carried above the roar of battle. Soon afterwards, the defenders abandoned the walls and left the city through a secret tunnel. Nice. The Nilfgaardians, furious that not one but two northern sovereigns were among the escapees, razed Aldersburg to the ground. 